Okay, uh, welcome to my another uh, tutorial series for Fusion 360. So in this tutorial, I will show you how to make this uh, angle 45 degrees angle 5 here. As you can see, there is a lot of the feature you can, you can uh, this video can cover, which is there is a extrusion, sweep, and pipe, and so on. So please make sure that you can follow this uh, tutorial and then make your own uh, angle pipe like this one. Okay, let's get started. Yeah, so first of all, I would like to create a sketch in the XY plane here. And then use the rectangle, uh, center rectangle to create the rectangle with the 122 width and use tap in the keyboard to change the height 122 as well and then hit enter and then i will click finish sketch and do the extrusion okay 15 for the extrusion okay and then in the right view i will create the sketch using the yz plane here okay and i will use the line here to start the line from this point and click it at the somewhere here and then just click and hold your left mouse button and hover your mouse to create the arc something like that and then i will extend with the line and please make sure that this uh, arc and the line have the tangent uh, constraint indicated by the tangent sign over there okay so and then just hit the check mark now i'm going to create the dimension for this particular position here so i will use 45 degrees okay and then i will use this one 60 radius okay and then this line here okay there will be uh, 20 sorry 30 okay and here here will be 20 yeah okay i think that's it Okay, and then I will use the finish sketch here. Okay, so this is the path for the pipe. But for that, I will have to create the cylinder of here. So I can edit my previous sketch here. Double click and then edit and create the diameter. So in this case, I will be using the two inches. So I can just type two inches like this, okay? And then they will create the two inches. And this time I also I'll offset it to outside in the five millimeter. So that offset is become the it will become the thickness of the pipe, okay? And then I turn on the sketch here, sketch one. Okay, this is sketch one. So first of all, I will use the sweep command here. And then this sweep command will have uh, need a profile and then a path. We already create the path over there. And for the profile, just select all the cylinder inside and outside. And the path will be this one. Okay. That's the path, and I will select the operation is join. Okay, this is the join, and I will hit OK. Okay, so now we are succeeding creating the pipe, okay, angle pipe, but we have to create the frames over there. So I will get another sketch here, okay, in the YZ plane as well, okay, and then I will bring up the previous 
line which is the center line so from there i will create another sketch here since i could not select this the end of the end of the point of the this uh, particular sketch so i'll use the project so in this case i will project the sketch to here the line but I will using the line tag as a construction. Okay, so I will select this line. So I make sure I bring up the sketch from the previous sketch, which is sketch two, to my sketch three. Okay, so if I turn off the turn off the body over there, so you can see there is a line which is is uh, using the projection from the sketch two. Okay, now I will create a rectangle again, but this time I will use three point rectangle. So I will use this one and then make sure there is a. No, I will use construction. I, I won't use construction line. So I will make sure that there is a parallel, uh, parallel icon over there. So I will use 15 as well and then. Click here, and then this become the diameter. So, sorry, radius. So I will use fifty two, okay, for the radius. So I will change this line to a center line. So if I change that, you see this one is fifty two is a radius dimension. So if I delete it, select and delete. And then I will use this dimension from the center point to the line here. So the fusion will automatically detect the diameter because this one we assign as a center line line type. Okay, so I will use 105 for the diameter and then finish sketch. Okay, here. Okay, so this one they will use the uh this profile for default okay so fusion will automatically detect the inner area and also as well as the center line so we use join okay yeah okay so the roughly the body of this uh particular angle pipe is i think roughly is okay it's done okay so now uh, I'll make another feature from this. From here, I will use the sketch. So I'll make a some kind of the feature here and make it a hole. Okay. So I will use the offset. This one here, offset angle. So when you want to create a sketch which is is not in the object here it doesn't have any flat area so you can utilize the construction plane here using the offset and then i will create an offset from the center over there center plane so roughly i will make the offset i think 45 is okay so 45 millimeter from the center and i will create a sketch over here okay Okay, then I will create a circle from here. Okay, I think a diameter will be 20. Okay, and then I will create a position information which is 30. And also, if you can see here, I still can move left and right for the this particular circle because they are it doesn't orient to the center of this 0, 0.0 so i will use this uh, horizontal or vertical constraint to make it straight uh vertically well align look no. okay so it will align so i cannot move anywhere okay then i will 
continue using the rectangle from this uh, particular uh, let, me, let me use another method okay i will use this kind of the line here and i will make uh, some kind of the line from here to this particular uh, position here okay and then i will bring up the projection from this line okay and then this tension i will make it to line here is tension and also i will make this end of point here coincident with this line okay so i will repeat another part here from here to here okay so we will have the perpendicular and also the tangent area from here to here yeah that's it I just finish sketch and as you can see i am creating the sketch over there and i will extrude this kind of the uh, position or sketch but before i do that i will add a fillet over here okay so fillet 10 millimeter okay and then extrude this area and the extrusion will be through this pipe so i will use the two object here and then i will select this one okay please make sure you have to select the join okay to make sure that they will be joined together okay so if i select through body they will exit over there until the end of the pipe but if i just want to select the two body so they will just exit from this particular uh surface okay okay that's it and then i will create another oh i think this one is not yet there is a gap over there i, I suppose we are probably there's a gap there so let me repeat the the profile here extend the object so i will add another hmm. okay this object yeah perhaps this one will work okay so sorry yeah this one let me try to create the fillet over here. Is it, does it work well or not? Yeah, it's work well. Okay. So I will have the fillet part in it. Okay, over there we already have the plane. And then later on I will use the another command which is a hole to create a hole. So before I finish stage one, I also want to add another feature over here around here so in that so uh, I need to use the plane at angle here so I'll make the angle plane from this particular axis here and then as you can see there is a zero degrees and I will make it uh, 45 degrees okay so since this one is the 45 degrees angle so i want to make it it at the at the center of this round area here so in the 45 degrees i will add with the 22.5 which is the half of the 45 degrees okay so that's it and then i will use offset plane i will use offset this one okay see from the right view and I will all set it from this particular position, probably 50. Yeah, we see, we see how much is the area. So one thing to note that uh, this particular plane, 
uh, please don't mind about the size okay so you can resize it like this okay as you need it or if you want to make it smaller as well here it's okay so keep in mind that this uh, particular work plane uh, you can work at this particular uh, area okay so there's no limitation about this uh, size of this it doesn't matter how big or how small it is okay so and then create a sketch over here okay i will use the so maybe i need to project first i will project the i want i want to have a center line at the center so i will project this line over there okay and then i will create a line from the mid center here to somewhere around here probably 60. so this one this one as my reference as a, my uh, construction line over there for my polygon here so i will use this polygon okay use and i will use uh four side okay so four side here maybe i will use uh app about 15 yeah i think 15 is a perfect size okay and then finish so this line is uh the purpose is for creating the position to make it consistent with our forget to to add the yeah this one is of a concept oh yeah is because already have the 50 50 sorry okay so this particular sketch i just all do the same thing with the previous one and then i just select this one okay for the Extrusion and make it join. Okay, so that one. And now I will make it a round area here with the particular five, probably. Yeah, five. And then I will add another fillet in here. Okay, this one will be three. Yeah, I think it's good. Yes, okay, that one. Okay, I think the feature is uh maybe I will add this another offset here so I can still use this one as a reference 55 so it make it more thicker today. Okay. Yeah, okay. Okay, that's it now. As you can see the angle pipe is already have a general shape but we don't have any hollow inside there so maybe i can turn on the sketch over here which sketch number two okay and also the number three can i use that one okay let me choose the pipe here just to create the some kind of a hollow. Hmm. I cannot select that one. Okay, it's okay. So in this case, we need another sketch which is from this surface here to, mm, until the surface over there. Okay. So I'll turn off, turn on this one. Okay, the sketch tool. I will utilize that sketch tool to create another sketch. Okay, here. And then I will choose the projection from sketch tool here. So I will use projection from the center of the line, which is the sketch tool. Okay, and also I will add another projection from this guy over there okay so 
this will bring up the single line from bottom here to the uh, up to here to the surface. So if you have any line, you can use the pipe command okay, to create the pipe here and until here. So yeah, for that. And then this pipe, you can have the hollow size like uh, two inches. Okay. Yeah, two inches. Okay. Okay, like this. So they will have two inches inside that. Okay. And then the operation will be cut. Okay, as you can see here. Okay, they were at the fillet. This one, this one, uh, this one, and also this one. Our at twenty, how about twenty? Yeah, twenty is appropriate precise. Okay, and in here, uh, I will also have a fillet over here. Ten radius. Yes, and this is okay. Okay. Yeah, I think it's a proportional shape. Now I'll we'll add the hollow. In the fusion, we have the, sorry, here. We have the hollow hole command, which is a very complete feature, which is you can uh, utilize the feature over here as a simple hole or counter board or counter sink. I will describe it later on. So, for example, here, if I want to create a hole, so I can use the uh, placement, this will be so. For example, if my hole will be as the same center of this, this fillet over here, so I just click the uh, not that. So, I will click here. And also, I will click this reference so they will snap to the center. Okay, and then this guy here is a simple hole. Okay, simple hole. This is the properties over here. So, for example, if you want to create 50 diameter, sorry, 15 diameter, and then this is the hole depth. If you want to use the all, they will be have a two hole. Okay, on the at the bottom. Okay, so you can also make a tap hole. Okay, there is a screw or or a thread over there, and this is the thread profile. You can choose from this uh, many different kind of the pipe profile and also the size. You can control the size. For example, M fifteen. Uh, with the uh, 1.25 or 1.5 pitch in pitch distance, okay. So you can choose whenever you like. But in this case, I will use this uh counter bore, okay, counter bore size, and I will use clearance, okay. This is the counter bore size. So I will choose the M M16 and maybe two lots M10. Yeah, maybe I will choose M10 uh, for the socket head cap screw. Okay, then I will just click OK. Okay, like that. And usually, when we create this kind of the counter bore at the top of here, okay, at the top of here, uh, sometimes we need the chamfer, right? So we can add a chamfer over here. Okay, chamfer. Maybe one one millimeter chamfer is enough. Okay. So that's all. I will add another three hole over there. So I will use the uh, this create a pattern command rectangular pattern. So I will pattern this feature, which is the hole and also the chamfer over here, and I will use the uh, axis here as a pattern direction. 
Okay, so I just click, click and drop, and the quantity will be two. Okay, this is the direction, one direction, and the distance will be, yeah, I think it's 80. Yeah, yeah. and over there as well. Okay, so I will choose two as well with the 80 millimeter of the distance. Okay, and then just click OK. So they will create like this particular position. And then here, I need to create a hole with the type of hole. So I just click hole here and then click this one as my uh, position. But since we don't know where is the reference over here, so we need to create a sketch over here. Then I need to create a sketch to this particular surface. Okay. And then I will use the projection to project the outer uh, circle here. And I will use this point. Okay, this point. Okay, there's a point. So this one is as a reference of my hole. So I'll create a distance from the center point to here. Okay, this is would be 35. I think it's more 37. I think 40. 40 is uh, yeah, 40. And as you can see, it's the same like the previous hole. So you need to align vertically. So you just click here and click here. So we will align vertically and then finish the sketch. So we are succeed create one point as a reference for the for the hole. Okay. So I just click the hole over there. And right now I will use tap hole and simple tap hole with the M no, not eleven. So I will be sixteen. Yeah, I think 16 is okay. 16 by 1.5 or maybe 16 by 2. And the hole will be two hole. So if we use this one all, as you can see, Pusher will detect all the body here. So they will also drill through here. So I don't want it. Okay. So I will use two and I will select this uh surface here okay but this one we need a little bit more because there is a fillet over there okay so maybe i will use two from here okay I'll click here yeah when you click here the chain face they will through the hole will stop at the very end of this uh, fillet for that. Okay, so one thing to show here. Okay, there is a feature which is you can model your your trap over here. If I let's see if I click OK right now, they just see there is a trait over there. But actually, this one is just as cosmetic. But if you want to make the real, for example, if this uh, 3D object you will have print it out for the 3D printer for example so you need the real model thread so you just check mark over there and then select ok so this one cushion will model the thread okay in the real uh, dimension and size okay okay so I will use the real thread over there and then see our create a pattern which is this rectangle sorry circular this time it's a circular select this one and then select the axis will be here and the number of a hole will be probably six okay okay for example for example this one is six okay Just click OK. And then they will compute. But if you want to save your RAM in the hardware, 
So maybe you are not necessary to create this uh, real model of the hole. You just edit it and then uncheck the model and they will become the, just the cosmetic area. Okay. So in here, I also want to make a hole over there. Okay, make the contrasting hole probably. Okay, so I will choose this contrasting hole at the center. So since if you have any center over there, so when you click and drag this particular uh, sketch here, so you can snap it over there. Okay, so you will automatically put it in the center position. So this one I will use uh, 12. So metric profile. Okay, so let me use this one as a twelve quadrant uh, object. So I'm not using you know, I will use the clearance here, and maybe yeah eight. Okay, so clearance means that if this particular hole you will install a screw so Fusion will create automatically the size appropriate for that screw that you choose okay so that's the hole over there it's already created okay and we can make another hole over there okay so maybe this one i will not create a hole instead of hole i will create a new feature which is I just did a sketch over there and using the slot okay so this one has a slot so maybe I will get the slot over here here okay. yeah okay then create the dimension for this particular slot 10 Okay, and then this one from here it will be 6.5. Okay, and then the radius will be 4. Okay, and so you, you can remember this one is not at the center. So, how are you supposed to create the center of that? So, you can use this particular. Uh, yeah, this center and then this center. Okay, so they will step to the center. Remember when you have the black uh, sketch here, black color sketch, they will indicate that this kind of the sketch is already constrained. Then I will create a hole over there and make sure the hole is through from here. Okay, go through from there. And then uh, we'll just uh, create an insert an object. So as you can see here, there is a small leftover. So if I create a true body going through to another surface, but if I going to create this adjacent faces, okay, adjacent face, so they will automatically uh, flush it. To the right mom okay yeah okay so i think this particular uh angle part is done so you can review and try to make your own and following my tutorial okay see you in the next video and bye, -bye.